Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Demonatus again. Um, this is part two, so if you haven't seen part one, uh, it might be worth uh, going back and having a look. Uh, we In the first video, we just basically did the, the yellow armour, and uh, part two is more about the sort of rest of the stuff that goes on. Um, with these guys, they're obviously heroes, um, and um, you know, uh, honour guard and all that kind of stuff, so I gave them uh, uh, white helmets, and to do that I just sprayed with white. Um, and then just basically did the, the standard thing with helmets. Um, on the sergeant's one, I did a uh, laurel wreath, uh, hand painted in Aquila uh, on there. Uh, again, my, my free hand isn't, uh, isn't you know, a patch on, on some people's, but um, it, it does the job. Um, and this is me just trying to work out how I'm going to get the um, Aquilas on the, the actual chests. So in the end, I paint them red and uh, highlight them with white. And um, there you go, that's the bow wrong, that's the uh, gnome oil uh, wash on the helmets and then uh, I just sort of painted their eyes and uh, you can see there, as I say, it's it's, <laughs> it's uh, not going to win me a golden demon but uh, I quite like the helmets, I thought they were quite awesome parts of the model anyway. So that's the, the sort of chest I highlighted, again that could be neater but um, that's, uh, that's life, I, I don't get it right all the time but I try my best. I wanted to try doing something slightly different with the Crux Demonatus uh, on these guys. Um, I've usually just painted them bone in the past, but I actually wanted to make uh, them look like uh, marbled stone, which is, um, according to the fluff, uh, what the Imperial Fists were, were rocking, uh, especially during the Defence of Terror. Um, so, yeah, look, yeah, I know, I know. It's, it was a, it was an attempt. It, it, it works from a distance. If you look too closely, it looks awful. Uh, one of the problems that I did have, though, was that the standard uh, Imperial Fists um, chapter icon is too big for the pauldron because the pauldron is actually smaller than a, a standard uh, Space Marine uh, one. So I had to, to cut it, and then I got the the problem with uh, the transfer not sitting flat. So what I did was I, I very carefully cut a slit in it and then I got a cotton bud or a q-tip from my American friends and one side of it was dry uh, which I used to sort of push out all the, the bubbles and, and crinkles and the other side's wet um, so that if I uh, need to uh, soften it up again I can do that. When it was actually in place I used that deco fix stuff. Um, I'd never really used it before. Did it make much of a difference? To be honest, I'm not entirely convinced it did. Um, but anyway, on to the fun stuff. Um, I went to town uh, with uh, Chip and these guys. Uh, I do I do enjoy the, the sponge method of, uh, of chipping. Uh, I did paint one of them, um, Roddy's method of actually painting, hand painting the chips. Um, it, it, it didn't really work, but I've actually found that the combination of using the hand painted chips and the sponge worked really well, uh, and that's this model uh, here. So some of those ones are hand painted, like the bigger, bigger ones at the bottom of his leg and the bit on his back there uh, were hand painted, and then this uh, sponge method was used to uh, bulk that out. And again, the, the beauty of that is uh, when you're looking at them at three feet distance. Um, your eye just fills in all the blank um, so I really really recommend that and if anyone ever wants to see me do, do a video on that just shout um, I'd love to do one. The Sergeant's Power Sword um, I was going to do this a standard blues and I thought actually no in for a penny in for a pound let's try something different so I painted one side purple uh, and the other side white just to make it look different uh, from everyone else. And do you know what? I absolutely love that effect. Um, I kind of make a mess of the sort of lightning or the power, whatever you want to call it, that comes out of the, the sort of bit in the middle. But do you know what? I, I'm quite happy with that. You know, for, for my level of painting anyway, that's uh, that's going to be fine. Um, so that's the sergeant and uh, he gets the, the flamer as well. So I'm just going to stick his helmet in. He's got the um, laurel wreath well. So yeah, I love the way that they're, they're coming together and um, it's just mount them on their bases and um, we're done. So that's what the, uh, the squad uh, looks like. Uh, I painted this sort of rock, a sort of green marbly green colour, uh, just again just trying to always do something a little bit different and you'll notice that the sergeant doesn't have the wrist support for the flamer. Um, 
two reasons. One, uh, the, the forge world miscast on it was it wasn't even worth fixing to be honest. And two, uh, it just looks stupid. So um, you know, the real fluff bunnies will probably hate me for that, but um, yeah, hey ho. He's strong enough to be able to take it, he isn't uh, Terminator armor for goodness sake, so uh, he doesn't need the, the wrist support. So uh, hopefully you find this um, uh, informative, I don't know, I guess. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback, um, Roddy and I make these videos, uh, we just love to, to know that someone's out there watching, so if you can uh, like, comment and subscribe we'd be very very grateful. We're heading towards uh, 600 subs and uh, we're probably going to do a Christmas giveaway uh, so stay tuned for that and I just uh, when I was doing that that video there I got my little uh, uh, flyer out uh, I think that's the Thunder Crow it's called um, and that's the first thing I ever painted in Pirio Fists so I've painted these uh, as I say for a friend who, who needed some cheering up so hopefully it's done that, uh, done that job um, thanks very much for sticking with us guys really appreciate it and every day is a school day so thanks very much please 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 comment it makes it all worthwhile and if you haven't subscribed we'd be very grateful if you did that too cheers now bye bye